Let's do it. Okay, we start with just some normal psoas stretching. Pillow on the knee, under the knee. Tur toes curled up at the back, please. Tuck under with the pelvis and lean slightly forward into the stretch. It's not a big lean forward, it's a slight lean forward. Taking the same arm up as leg and hold. Take a deep breath in and breath out. Really reach up through your fingers. If you reach up through your fingers, you're just going to feel that extra tug on the psoas and out and in and out. Relax the foot down. Take the weight of your body backwards. I'm going to reverse my hips back here. Then I'm going to stretch the front leg out. So my body is going back this way. Then I'm going to stick my bottom outwards as I come over into a hamstring stretch. Remembering it's first thing in the morning. Okay, so when you stretch your hamstrings first thing in the morning, it hurts. Okay, because you haven't been up for that long. So they're really like... It's a na nasty stretch when it's first thing. Take a deep breath in. And breath out. Come back up into your psoas stretch. Keep the foot relaxed down at the back. All the way into a deep stretch. When you arrive, you really want to make sure that the knee is aligned with the heel. The arm goes inside of the leg. Other hand goes down onto the floor. Take a deep breath in and breath out. Take a deep breath in and breath out. In and breath out. Back, back, stick the bottom backwards, stretch the front leg out again, stretching the hamstring. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Definitely don't pull those toes back. Please keep the toes relaxed. Otherwise, it's just too intense on the hamstring. Come back into your deep psoas stretch again, please. This time you're going to take your hand onto your knee. I want you to feel like I'm pushing you in your breastbone. So the breastbone is going to come back inwards slightly. Then as you do that, you go for a twist. So you're stretching diaphragm and psoas. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out coming back and changing sides please toes curled up at the back tuck under with the pelvis lean slightly forward into the stretch taking the same arm up to the ceiling reach through the fingers to get the extra pull on the belly in the psoas inside the belly Take a deep breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. In and out. Relax the foot down. Take your weight back over your leg. Stretch the front leg out. Take your body over your leg and stretch. Keeping the toes relaxed at the front. Breath in. And out. And in. And out. Coming down into your full psoas stretch. Making sure when you arrive that your knee is perfectly aligned with your heel. Arms are inside the leg. Deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Backing back into your hamstring stretch. Take a deep 
deep breath in and out. In and out, come back into your full hand, uh, full psoas stretch. Once I get to the stretch, I take my hand to my knee. I poke back in my breastbone, so I pull my ribs away from the floor and then I twist. So whenever we do an ab class, it's really essential, well it's really essential to make sure your hip flexors are nice and stretched anyway. It's really good to have those hip flexors warmed up so they don't, they don't dominate the whole series. All right, laying on your back, let's get started. You can go down there. He wants the sun, that's what he's looking for. <coughs> okay, we're gonna start out with um, some reverse abs, which we know how to do very well. We've got a few little new bits and pieces in today's class. Laying on your back, let's just get the abdominals warm by doing a series that we know. Take your hands behind your head. Keeping the hip flexors relaxed, staying in the neutral spine position, please. You're going to take a deep breath in, lift your head and shoulders just off the floor. On the breath out, you stay up there and you sink the skin of your stomach down contracting the abs, getting all the air out of your belly. Breath in, roll back. Staying down and breathing out. Every time you breathe out, you're completely contracting. In and lift. Breath out. In and down. Breath out. In, lift, breath out. Really see the skin of your stomach sinking down to that muscle. In, roll back, breath out. In, lift, so you've got the time to really think of contracting the core and pulling up the pelvic floor. In, roll down. Breath out, in lift, breath out, in down, breath out, two more, in lift, breath out, in down, Breath out. Last one. In, lift. And breath out. Taking the legs into tabletop. Make sure your lower back is flat on the mat. When I breathe in, I lift. The same breath repetition. Now as I breathe out, I'm going to push my legs just a little bit. So it's not too far. It's really just a tiny press. You wait for your body to start quivering. When your body starts quivering, you know you've pressed them enough. You then breathe in, you bring them back, you take your head and shoulders down and you stay. So the, the, if you watch my legs for a moment, I'm literally going to press that much. Tiny. Breath in and lift. Breath out, micro extension with the legs. Good morning, Esmeralda. In, roll back. Head, shoulders, knees come back. Out and stay. Keep your lower back flat. Breath in and lift. Breath out. Micro extension with the legs. Pull in strong and hard through the pelvic floor. In, bring it back. Breathing out and stay. In and lift. Micro extension with the legs. In and back. Breath out and stay. In lift. Three more reps. Micro extension with the legs. In back. Out stay. 
in lift, micro extension with the legs, hold it until you feel that quiver, in back, out and stay, last one, in lift, micro extension with the legs, bring it back, breathing out and staying, resting the legs down, <coughs> Okay, so next one, we have legs are extended up to your extension, whatever that is. If you can have your legs straight, great. If you can't, you have them to what your hamstrings let you do. We're going to reach up, touch our ankles, and then come back down. Reach up, touch our ankles, and then come back down. And we're going to go for 30 reps. I've designed this class completely forgetting about the fact that this room is on a slope. Here we go. <clears throat> Lifting it up, touch the ankles, one. Up, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. If you need to hold your head, five, it's okay. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten more, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, Woo. and rest. Cool, okay, so we're taking our hands behind our head, our legs are in a normal sit-up position, hip width apart or slightly wider, whatever is comfortable, neutral spine position. We come up into a normal Pilates position, then we pulse up a little bit further, and then we roll back down. So it's up, up, drop. 30 reps. It's Saturday. Here we go. And up, up, drop. Up, up, drop. Up, up, drop. Five, six, try not to be gripping from those hip flexors. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, and rest. <coughs> Take a deep breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Okay, so we're going to do a full sit up with a twist. Now, when we're doing these full sit ups, if we do them slowly, you can't cheat and use your, um, you can't cheat, hang on, if you'd use them slowly, you have to use your abdominals completely. If we do them fast, which is the way we're gonna do them today, you can use the momentum of your body to get yourself up, okay? So it's not cheating, we're doing it fast deliberately, but I am gonna have your hands in a difficult position. So we're gonna be in a Russian twist, with a Russian, uh, sorry, Russian position with the arms. Legs are a little bit wider than the hips. We roll down and we bring ourselves all the way up into a full sit up. And then we drop back down. It's normal as well for some of you if your feet are gonna get a little bit airborne, okay? I wanna do 30, but let's see how, I'm gonna watch how everyone's going and see how we go. Also see whether I can do 30 as well. Here we go, drop down, lift it up, one. Lift it up, two. And three. And four, use your pelvic floors. That's it, Pia, you got it now. And five. And six. And seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and one, and two, three, four, five, what are we thinking, Mandy, 20 or 30, six, oh, Seven, we're going for 30 ladies, and eight, nine, ten, ten to go, we're on the countdown, and ten, nine, eight, <coughs> seven, six, your body over your legs. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Bring your arms up in front. Now we're going to go halfway back and back up 30 times. Halfway back, halfway back up. You take yourself back to the point that you know you can keep your feet from flying off the floor, okay? And we've all got those different weak spots in our abs. So some people might just go to there. Some of you might be able to go to there. Here we go. And all one. Let's do it slowly. Two. Three. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, if something is hurting, change the position slightly. Drop it into a different part of the spine. How many is that? Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Is this the last round? Nine. Oh God. We've still got ten to go. Ten. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And rest for a moment. Just coming and sitting and facing me, just come into your mermaid position. We just give our abs just a small rest, give our shoulders a small rest as well. <coughs> so this leg is coming behind you. That's it. And then you find that, that angle, this with your leg here, that's up to you, whatever that angle is. You do not have to do the same as me. Whatever feels comfortable in your hips. You're then gonna drop down to your um Elbow, take this arm up and over, and hold. Reach all the way through your fingers so you get that lovely big fascia stretch. This is just a little reprieve. There's just so much more to come. So I'm just letting your bodies just have a little moment and twist. Twist back, lift back up, and reach across. That bit always feels a bit odd. You're going against kind of the grain of the vertebras, so it feels a bit strange as we try and go across this direction. Changing sides. Find a position that's comfortable for your hips. Hello, Scarlett. Drop down to your elbows and bring the arm all the way up and over. And twist. Twist back. Bring it all the way up, cross, and coming into a plank position. We're just going to do a quick plank. I'm just going to insert little planks in all the way through the workout. We're just going to hold the plank for six breaths. I really want you to find your. I want you to find the correct position. I want you to have legs together, ankles together. Elbows perfectly aligned with the shoulders. Reach back into your plank. Connect your legs together. Take a deep breath in. And breath out. Now as you stay there, really squeeze your glutes. Breath in. If it hurts your back, lift your bottom up a little bit. And breath out. Breath in, reach back through the heels and out. Breath in and out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in and out. One more breath, breath in and breath out. And I tried to do that with two dogs giving me multiple kisses at the same time. Laying on your backs, guys. Okay, 
we tuck into extend, tuck and extend, hips on them. Okay, so we're going to sit, we're sitting on our bottoms. Just trying to work out how to do this on the angle of this room. Arms go out, legs go out, and then you tuck back in. Out and back. That's a new one for us. We've never done that before. We usually go all the way down and then all the way back up, which obviously that's also coming. That's next. I'm just playing with the angle slightly. So we come onto our hips, uh, sorry, not our sitting bones. Reach and in. Reach and in. Two. Three, four, five, six. I'm only going to be able to do ten of these, I think. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And rest. Okay, I just need to just do the next one firstly before I teach it. Okay, Whew. so we're gonna be up in the same position that we were just in. We're gonna slowly lower down to reach the legs out, reach the arms out, and then we're going to come back up. Give me five seconds, hang on, five, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, legs off. Slowly lower down. Reach the legs, reach the arms, and bring it back up. One. Don't drop the head down. And two. And three. And four, oh, that's hard. And five, oh, that's very hard. And six, oh. Seven, oh, if it's too hard, stop. Eight, nine, and ten, oh. That was very, very hard for me. Take a deep breath in and breath out. Take a deep breath in and breath out. So the next one, legs are gonna be up into the air, hands behind the head. You lower the legs down, you bend them and you bring them back in. You only lower them down as long as you can keep your back flat, okay? So do not go with where my legs go. My, I'm going to gauge what my back is doing. You've got to gauge what your back is doing. Keep the lower back flat. Head and shoulders lift. Legs are in tabletop. Extend them up. Lower them down. Bend them in. And come back up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Have a break because we've got ten more to go. Holding five, four, <coughs> three, Two, 
One, find your position again with your head and shoulders up, legs into tabletop, and lowering it down. So I know I can see that I can't take my legs too low. My lower back doesn't like going so low. Two, three, keep those lower backs down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, last one on your own, ten. I gave up at nine. Terrible number to give up on, number nine. It's going to play on my play on my conscious all day that I stopped. Not that I stopped, that I stopped on an odd number. That's what's going to play on my conscious. Not that I gave up. It's just my obsessive compulsiveness with numbers. All right, head down, a lower, uh, alternate, le alternate leg lowers. So head stays down, legs lift up. We alternate. Pretty easy after what we just did. So we'll go for 30 on each side. What did you say? Yeah, I might say that. I say 30 on each side pretty easy. I haven't even... Ah, Mandy's saying if it's too much on your back, you can always do the option of sticking your hand under your bum, which always makes everything a lot nicer for the lower back when you've got those long legs going out. Okay, and crossing, crossing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going with hands under my bum. One, much nicer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten second break, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, <coughs> two, one, legs up, thirty more, and one, and two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, or one, two, three, four, five, six, harder than I thought, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and rest. Not so hard on my abs, more hard on my hip flexors, that one. Have a small rest. <coughs> What's the time, Mandy? Okay, so the next one is you hover to touch, change to touch. Touch, touch. So it's not a big split. It's a small little movement. <coughs> just, <coughs> just start. No, just starting to get those obliques activated. Mandy begged me today not to do ma ma many obliques, so we do not have too much obliques in the series today. She said she's had enough of all the twisty twisties, which I just love. All right, so arms are out slightly on an angle. You cross, so as I cross over to my left, my right one goes down a little bit. 
as I cross over to my right, my left arm goes down. Four, is that? Yeah. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Rest. Hands behind the head. We do exactly the same, but with the hands behind the head, legs up, and cross. One, now this time, take the other leg down a little bit further. One, cross, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and one, two, oh, three, huh? Four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. <clears throat> That's a new one. Both of them are new ones. And I don't know whether I like them or not. So need to I need to perfect them. So they might be coming back around again or we may never see them again. Okay, the next one we're going to do is we're going to cycle, which we did a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> Hands are behind the head. The legs come up and they cycle. And that's it. 30 reps on each side. But we're going to come up quite high to the tips of our shoulder blades. Lifting up to the tips. Lift the legs up, flex the feet, and cycle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the rest. Very fast cycle. <laughs> Was that? Yes. Very fast cycle. Okay, behind the head with a twist. Fast cycles with head up. We now have to do hands behind the head. Oh, I'm really out of breath, guys. Sorry. Give me five seconds. <clears throat> Legs are up. Hands are behind the head. This time we twist and we extend into a normal oblique twist. Ten on each side. Nice slow twist. I want you to imagine that your stomach is like a big car sponge filled with water and every twist you're going to squeeze and twist all of the water out of the sponge. This is the only oblique. Are we doing alternative? Alternative, alternative, yeah. But she was looking at me going, I thought I said no obliques. It's a little bit, not too much. Hands behind the head, lifting up and twisting one. Let all the air out and back and two and back. And three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget your pelvic floor. Eight, nine, and ten. Ten more. And ten, <clears throat> nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. 
and resting. Let's just stretch your backs out, take your leg right across your other leg, drop all the way over, rest your shoulder back towards the ceiling and just stretch that lower back. Take a deep breath in and out. Breath in, breath out, bring it back up. Take the foot across, bring yourself into a small glute stretch. Take a deep breath in and out. Breath in and out. Take this leg down, take the other leg across. All the way over, draw the shoulder back towards the floor, take a deep breath in and out, in and out, come back up, cross it. Come back into a stretch. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Taking your hands behind, sorry, underneath your bottom. Coming into a frog position with your legs. So my heels are connected, my toes are apart, my feet are flexed. Press out into the frog one and bring it back. Press two, three, squeeze those heels, four, five, six, we're going for 20 reps, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, take the legs into parallel, rest them onto your chest for a second, feet flexed, squeeze the legs together, press one, parallel, squeezing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, rest the legs down, take the legs wide, Drop one knee down to the floor, take the other one down to the floor as well and stretch the hip flexors. Take a deep breath in, really pushing that knee down and breath out. Breath in and out, change sides. Take a deep breath in and out. Breath in and breath out, coming back up to a seated position. Legs are a little bit wider again. Take your arms up and clasp your hands. We roll halfway back. We twist over with the hands towards the floor. You don't have to touch the floor. Come back, twist to the other side and come back, 10 on each side. Hands up. Roll it back to a position that's comfortable for your back and twisting one. And two. 
and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out, bringing your arms back, bringing your legs a little bit more aligned with the hips. Breathe out, roll back into a position that you can sit comfortably in. Breathe out, take one arm above your head. In, take it down. Second arm above your head. In, down. Double arms. In, down. Out, we roll it back up. Nice straight back here. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, roll it back. In, hold. One arm. In, down. Second arm. In, down. Double arms. In, down. Out, roll it back up. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, roll back. In, hold. One arm. In, down. Second arm. In, down. Double arms. In, down. Out, roll it back up. Just two more rounds. Take a deep breath in. Out, roll back. In, hold. One arm. And down. Second arm. And down. Double arms. And down. Roll it back up. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Roll it back. In, hold, one arm, and down, second arm, and down, double arms, and down, out, roll it back up, rolling back onto your backs. We're going to do three hip rolls with our feet down, so we're going to completely change the vibe, just to relax our bodies a little bit. We're going to do three with the legs down. So we breathe out to let our legs drop to the left. We breathe out to drag the legs back to the center. You have to work your own abs here. It's not like the other exercise where it was all ch that was ch the movement itself was challenging, which meant your abs had to work to cope with the challenge. This exercise, you have to work it. Then we go with the legs up into tabletop. And then we're going to go straight legs doing the same again as well. So legs down, neutral spine position, take a deep breath in. Breathing out, let the legs go to the left, contracting the abs and the pelvic floor. In, hold. Breathing out, dragging the legs back to the center. Breath in, breathe out, go to the right. In, hold. Now if I'm going to the right, I'm pulling back from the left hand side of my abs. Pelvic floor, breath in. Breathe out, go to the left. In, hold. Breathe out, come back to the center. Breath in, breath out, go to the right. In, hold. Breathe out, come back to the center using the pelvic floor. One more with each side, deep breath in. Breathe out, float to the left. In, hold. And float back to the center. Breath in. Breath out, float to the right. In, hold, float back to the center. 
legs into tabletop, backs flat down, deep breath in, breathe out, float to the left. In hold, float back to the centre. Breath in and float to the right. In hold, float back to the centre. In, float to the left. In, hold, float back to the center. In, float back to the right. In, hold, float back to the center. Breath in, float to the left. In, hold, back to the center. In, float to the right. In, hold, float back to the center. Legs up and extended. Breath in, breath out, float to the left. In, hold, back to the centre. In, float to the right. In, hold, float back to the centre. Breath in, float to the left. In, hold, out to the centre. In, float to the right. In, hold, back to the center. Last one with each side, breath in, float to the left. In, hold, back to the center. Breath in, float to the right. Breath in, hold, breath out, come back to the center. How long have I got, Mandy? Five minutes. Five minutes. Coming onto your sides, please, we're gonna do a side plank. Yes, Mandy's going to time us for one minute. So we go into our front plank first, then we flip into our side plank, and then we're going to hold it for one minute. We're going to do one on each side, then I'm going to do a lovely glute stretch to finish. Ready? So let's go into our front plank. Flip into our side plank. Make sure the elbow is directly under the shoulder. My palm is facing you. We're ready to go, Mandy. So your arm needs to come this way more, Madhur. That's it. If it's too much, you just hold the floor. That's absolutely fine. Also taking the arm up is an option. That tends to make it a little bit easier as well. Keep on lifting those obliques. Is that, a, is that a minute? Halfway. Oh, we're halfway. Oh, God, I thought she said okay. No, <sighs> Keep on going if you can. Oh. Nine, eight, <sighs> Changing sides. All right, front plank, side plank. Oh, you come to help me. And here we go, and holding. Keep lifting those obliques. like a little obstacle course for Max and Scarlett today. Max is under you. I can see it. Oh, Max, don't be under, don't be under me, sweetheart. I could kill you with if I fell. Oh. Yes, it's very hard on a downhill slope, guys. Oh. Oh. That's exactly how I feel, Max, exactly like you. Come into a cross-legged position. Whew. 
sitting up nice and straight through the back. If you're someone that can get one leg on top of the other, now's your time to do that. I'm not, okay? My knee does not like that at all. Reach forward and stretch. Elbows down, head is relaxed. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. And out, creep across to the leg. So you've got one elbow on one side of the leg, the other elbow on the other side of the leg. The elbow that's in the center, weight it down. That's the one you wanna draw down. That's the one that you're gonna feel that extra little fascia stretch with if you pull it down towards the floor. And change to the other side. Come all the way up. Drop this elbow to the floor. Think heavy with this side of your hip. Relax it, deliberately relax in the sacrum. Take the arm up and over. And pull down through the opposite knee. Change sides. back up, switch legs. Last day in the country for us, we're all going back to the city tomorrow. Let's see whether my country dogs have become feral country dogs and don't burn, <laughs> adjust to city life. Let's see what Max's behavior is like on the street. He's become a man since being in the country, so we'll have to see how that goes. I'm not used to seeing anybody. Changing to the opposite side. Changing to the opposite side. Coming back up, we go for our new energy line that we've learned. One hand, one hand, please. Interlace, rest it on your chest. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. And in and out. And we are finished today, everybody.